Hello and welcome to Mayor Suffolk's online workshop. I'm Chrissy, and today we're going to be making the glass jar butterfly. They're absolutely amazing and they're really cute. So for this we are going to need one clean jar with the lid, some pebbles or stones, medium size, some twigs, PVA glue, some butterfly stickers or you can make your own optional, and some sticky pads and a pair of scissors. I'm ready. I'm really looking forward to this one. If you are, come and join me, let's have some fun. Hello and welcome back. So for this, you're gonna need your glass jar. Now you can have any size glass jar, it kind of works, but a bit bigger um, will probably work better and you'll see why. So you take your glass jar, again, clean and dry, and your lid. What we're gonna do is we need to make a base. So we're gonna concentrate on our lid at the moment. For this, you're gonna need your pebbles and stones. Now, these are great, you can get these anywhere. You can also go out when you're taking your wall and collect some, give them a wash, so you make sure there's all the mud and everything's off of them so they're clean. Pick a couple that you think are not too big, so in my eyes that one would be too big. These ones are pretty good, so we're gonna work with these. Okay, so, we're gonna need to make that base. To do that, we're gonna need some PVA glue. But before that, we need to make something that will look good for our butterflies to sit on. So. This I just found on a walk. I'm going to make this my base. So let's make that happen. So cut off with your scissors the base bit, like so. Use your glass jar as well for the height. Now we may have to adjust this, and that's going to be absolutely fine. Okay, so what we're going to try and do is this is where I'm going to aim for to have my butterflies, but I need to make that stand up. Now this is the tricky bit, but we can do this together, it's going to be fine. <laughs> Okay, so, for this bit, just very softly, just break the bottom, I know, not fully off, but so it's still on there, but we need it just to sit, not like that, so we're going to go even lower, don't worry, it's fine, see, these things happen, <laughs> work through it and just smile, it's amazing, so, again, I've softly bent it, not fully off this time, okay, we need that to stand up, this is the tricky bit, guys, we can do this, you should have seen me have so much fun with the first one I made, <laughs> okay, so, be generous, with your glue and you need it like so. Okay, patience is the way forward with this one, it'll be fine. We need to stick this twig in the middle and all these lovely stones that you've collected and picked around it for it to stand up. Okay, so let's make that happen. Now, the idea with this as well is we need your glass jar to go on top, okay? So when you're putting the glass jar back on top, it needs to be able to sit on top, so you don't want it to go over the sides too much, because you just won't get your glass jar on top, and it won't give the effect that we're trying to affect today. So when you've done that, and it will, it does work, I promise. <laughs> so don't give up. It does take patience. And again, if you need to, you can pour some glue on top of your stones to make it stand up, okay? and it will work, I promise you. Once it's done and you've found that you can get that to stand up just like so, don't touch it if you can, and ideally you can try and put it on top to make sure one, that you've got enough room in there for your twigs, and two, that it's not too wide for your lid to go on top. When that's done, put it on the radiator or somewhere to dry. Now it should look something like this when it's dry, and as you can see it dries quite clear inside, and it does work, so do not give up, please. So mine took about two days to dry. I just kept checking on it, making sure that it was okay. And look how great that is. Ta-da! And I like the colours as well, I know. So now we're gonna have to make butterflies. So for me, I kind of played around with this. I put it on top and I worked out roughly how when it's standing in the jar, what would look be the best way. For me, there. So I like that view, so that's where I'm going to concentrate on. Now, you can cut your own butterflies um, if you want, or you can actually get some stickers like I have. It's optional, it's up to you, whatever you want. Now, if it's for a friend or for yourself, what kind of butterflies they like, or you just go to the ones you're drawn to. So I'm actually going to go for the coloured ones here. So, And again, think of the size of your butterfly for your stick. Just, if it's too big, it won't look right. So I've got this one, so I'm going to go for some sticky pads, just cut off, 
again, when you look at your butterfly, you will see da -da, that the back, you only got this much room, so you don't want your sticky note to be too wide, because it will show over the sides. Peel off the back. And if you ain't got sticky notes, that's fine. You can use PVA glue again, it's optional. But I just found these were a little bit more stable. So look at that. I'm going to stick that in there. And a couple more. Okay, I'm happy with that. If you're happy with that, let's go on to the next stage. So the next bit is just finishing it off. So just be very careful now because it's very delicate. And remember what I said about the bottom base. We need it so the stones are in the middle so we can actually get the lid on and off. So in this case, it's done. Look at that. Ta da! Isn't that great? How effective. And look at this. I went a little bit bigger. How lovely is that? Amazing. Just for myself or for a friend. Well, thank you ever so much. It's been a pleasure making these. And they're beautiful. Thank you ever so much for joining us. All the best. Talk to you again. See you again. Bye. Thank you ever so much for joining me today while doing the arts and crafts. It was a big pleasure. If you do want to follow us, please do. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. You may have some ideas and want to share them with us. And maybe you want to see me do the arts and crafts. Please do get in touch with us. But please be mindful that we can't always get back to you straight away. Please be patient with us and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Again, all the best and thanks for watching. Bye.